Hey everyone, welcome back. It's time to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix live lease and not working problem on iPhone and iPad. For those unfamiliar, live listen is a pretty handy feature that allows you to turn your iPhone or iPad into a pretty useful remote microphone. That's it, let's get started. So first and foremost, make sure your device and headphones support the live listen feature. It works with AirPods, AirPods Pro, AirPods Max, Power Bits Pro and some made for iPhone or iPad hearing aids. Also ensure that your device is running iOS 14 or later. Then I will recommend you to enable the live listen feature properly. Another important thing that you should do with RFL is to ensure that the live listen feature is enabled properly on your device. To do so, you just have to bring up the control center by swiping down from the top right corner of the screen. And then you have to tap on the hearing icon. Then you have to tap on hearing device or AirPods. And then you have to tap on the live listen option. If you don't see the hearing icon, add it to the control center. Just head over to the controls gallery and then you have to scroll down to the hearing accessibility section. And after that you have to choose the hearing icon. If live listen is still not working on your device, then I would recommend you to disconnect and reconnect your earphones. To do so, open the settings app on your device and then you have to tap on Bluetooth. After that, you have to tap on the information icon right next to your AirPods. Then you have to tap on forget this device and confirm it. And then you have to follow the usual process to reconnect your iPhone or iPad with your AirPods. Then I will recommend you to make sure your iPhone's microphone is working properly. You can test it by recording a voice memo. If it sounds muffled, clean the microphone with a soft brush. Also ensure that your device volume is turned up while using the live listen feature. Sometimes a simple restart can help you fix the live listen problem. Therefore, I would recommend you to give it a go as well. Just power off your device, then wait for a few seconds, and then you have to turn it back on. Then you have to try to enable live listen to check whether or not you have gotten the better of the problem. Next up, I would recommend you to update the software on your device because I suspect that a software bug is causing the problem and preventing the live listen feature from functioning properly. To do so, you have to launch the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Then select general. After that, you have to tap on soft update and then you have to proceed to download and install the latest version of iOS or iPadOS on your device. And finally, I will recommend you to factory reset your device. If the issue is due to wrong configuration, it will let you resolve the problem. For those unfamiliar, factory reset allows you to wipe out all the custom settings including the home screen layout. However, none of your media or data is deleted in the process. So you shouldn't worry about losing anything at all. To do so, you have to launch the settings app on your iPhone or iPad. Then you have to choose the general option. Then you have to scroll down to the bottom of the screen and select transfer a reset iPhone or iPad. Then you have to select the reset option. Then you have to tap on reset all settings and confirm the action. And that's about it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix live listen not working problem on iPhone and iPad. Hopefully you have gotten the better of the problem and now this handy feature has started to work as usual. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and share it and do subscribe for more such handy iPhone and iPad tips and tricks. Take care. Have a great time. Bye-bye.